Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. The box have beaten the All Blacks 31 points to 27 in what is going to be remembered as one of the greatest games we've seen in recent times at Ellis Park. Absolutely incredible. Coming from 10 points behind at a stage, the Springboks in many respects weren't at the races and yet when it counted the most that last 12 minutes came from behind yellow card to Opatunga Fasi really was probably the difference in the end but cheap as me what a game and uh, I mean this is the two best teams in the world you know Ireland a yeah, phenomenal team and yeah probably on the same level but there's just nothing like these two teams when they play against each other you know it is absolutely next level it is passion it is it is, it is just, I mean, look, the disappointment here on the New Zealanders face here, it just shows you how much it means to these two teams. It is the greatest rivalry in the world. It is the greatest match in the world. And tonight it delivered in truckloads. Before we break the game down, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. I'm still kind of coming down on what was an absolutely insane match. And uh, yeah, you know, I'll tell you what, if, if you guys are... Uh, you know, let me know what you think in the comments below about the match because, yeah, it was absolutely phenomenal. PSF, the toys, walking away with man of the match, deserved, deserved. But things weren't always um, smooth sailing for the box. We're going to go through the game here, kind of a bit of a blow by blow. And it was the, the worst possible start. Apple Fassi had a card in the fifth mi uh, minute and uh, Cody Taylor went over in the sixth minute. So after not even eight minutes, seven nil down. The worst possible start, really for the box thankfully um managing to get into the game after basically 50 minutes of being nowhere and uh, bongi manambi going uh, going over off the back of a line out you're not going to stop in that kind of range controversy though lots of controversy with it looks like the ball was dislodged in his in his hands potentially knock on um i actually haven't seen a slow-mo or anything like that so i have to have a look at that in the week but um it looked like a knock on um, however, there was a bit of a gift later from the, the box to the All Blacks, so that kind of probably cancelled it out. And uh, also was quite, quite controversial is they showed the replay in the stadium and uh, the All Blacks saw it and started approaching the referee to say there was a knock on, you know, and, uh, you know, the trial shouldn't be awarded. In doing so, they kind of broke their line. So Sashibama Gomazuli got timed out, but he was saying, but they're off their line. They've charged before I've started my run up which means it should have been retaken. So lots of stuff actually happening in that particular moment. Um, and very interesting to see what, what is going to be said about that whole situation. But regardless, it became seven points to five. Uh, Sash Bamagana then gave the box a, a, a lead for the first time in the 29th minute with three points. I think he scored 17 points uh, in the end of the boot. I thought he was absolutely superb, by the way. Um, however... Kelly Clark went over in the 32nd minute um, before a late penalty from Sash Fami Gomazulu meant it was 12 points to 11 at half time. The same scoreline was in the 2023 Rugby World Cup final. Uh, except for this time, the box were very much on the other side. And uh, the box didn't pitch up for most of the second half. There's only one way of really saying it um, a gift. Damon Lenny popping it straight into the hands. Of Jordy Barrett, uh, the ball destined for Sia Khaleesi, but so telegraphed. And Jordy Barrett went over with the extras. And that, for me, kind of cancels out that knock-on, really, from Bongi Minambi, because it was a gift. Um, Sash Bami Gomez-Zulu then brought the deficit down. We had two opportunities where I thought we had a mention that we took the points. Wasn't sure it was the right call. Look, in the end, it probably was. But um, penalties uh, from Sash Bami Gomez-Zulu, 45-49. A penalty from Dave McKenzie in between that. Uh, 14, uh, 22, 17, 22, and then a uh, pretty poor defense for the box, it must be said. And Caleb Clark went over for his second in the 51st moment, uh, minute. Um, uh, thankfully, Dan McKenzie missing the kick, but uh, 10 points with the half an hour to play. 10 points with 50 minutes to play as well. 20, 17 points, 27 win off by Tuanga Farsi gets that yellow card. A minute later, Quaker Smith on the back of a couple of pickup and goes, a decent mauls. He goes over under the poles. Makes no mistake, does Sasha. Um, a phenomenal couple of penalties as well, being one um, throughout the game. And a big penalty in the seven, in, in sort of that sort of 73rd minute. We kick down to the, the corner, and uh, Grant Williams is aware enough to see a bit of space. He dies over, and then it's five minutes of defense. Really, really good defense. Um, and uh, that was the game. If you have a look at some of the stats here, it tells you a very interesting story. 
Um, because again, you know, I thought then lots of aspects of the box were poor. Discipline wise, I thought New Zealand were very poor. Um, territory, 53 to 46. If you look at like the feel as to the makeup of, uh, you know, where the territory is, it's mental. It's like 25, 25, 25. Um, you know, there was no real sort of place. It was actually more sort of New Zealand 22, actually, where the majority of the rugby was played. Um, if you look at possession, um, 55 to 45 for the box. The last 10 minutes, 67 percent though. That was the pressure that the box were putting on uh, the All Blacks. Lineouts so much better for the box. 92 percent win out of 26 lineouts. The All Blacks also pretty decent to be fair. Um, Bokka um, receives as well. Uh, restarts 100 percent there. 83 percent from New Zealand wasn't the best from them. Uh, the box scrum struggled let's 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 be very brutally honest about it it wasn't their best scrummaging day um and i think that was a big part of the fact that we struggled to get into the game because we didn't have that physical dominance we didn't see the pack bully the all blacks like we've seen them bully other teams and and i think that was a massive massive that is massive credit to the all blacks who really really fronted up and uh and did enough to to really neutralize that bark pack which is the big weapon um, but if you look at the attack, very interesting as well. Passes, 107 to 145, but box with 234 post-contact meters, 163 for the All Blacks. More line breaks, though, from the All Blacks. Uh, turnovers, 1-7 from the box. Quaker Smith, uh, Jasper Visa had a really good one. Damien Delendi actually had two. Um, Malcolm Marks, I think, also had one. Uh, just the three from New Zealand. Uh, penalties, this is where New Zealand lost it. 14 penalties conceded. So that yellow card to Opa Tuonga Farsi, was coming it definitely was coming um tackles made the box were asked to make 100 well made 110 missed 17 new zealand made 127 missed 27 um so 87 percent tackle completion rate there for the box uh 32 kicks to 28 so once again we're seeing a trend the team that kicked more ended up winning um if you look at some individual performances really impressive word jordy barrett 10 carries plus f the toy eight carries um Bowden barrett three line breaks fussy i thought was really really good um, if you look at tackles completed, uh, Ardis Severe 15, Sam came 14, Tyler Lomax 13, PSF the toy 11. Um, he was absolutely massive today. Uh, turnovers one, David Delende has mentioned two, Jasper Visa two, Malcolm Marks one. Um, really good work. I thought uh, I thought uh, Jasper Visa in particular was very good. Some people were worried about him and his sort of his comeback, but nine carries, seven tackles, not a single tackle missed, two turnovers as well. Phenomenal. Sash Bamigomazulu, 16 points, by the way. Six tackles made, none missed. Uh, two bad passes, one bad restart, but four defenders beaten, 63 meters gained. What a game from him. A star is once again born. Um, and, and that was it. So let me know what you thought about the game uh, down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video as well.